In this demonstration, we'll explore the properties of the Configuration Manager Client. So in order to access that, what we need to do is just come into Control Panel. Within Control Panel, we'll come to System and Security. Within System and Security, we'll go to Configuration Manager. Within Configuration Manager, we have a number of tabs that we can have a look at in order to gain information relating to the client. So at this point here on the general page, I can see my management point that my client is connected to. I can see the type of certificate I'm using. I can see the connection type and the site I'm also connected to as well. We've then got the version and also as well the unique identifier. If we just go to the components tab, this gives us information relating to the components which are installed, enabled, so currently running, and also as well we may have some disabled ones on there as well. So what this is indicating to me is this is indicating to me that I have pulled down the client policy. If we go to the actions tab, what we can do here is we can select the options that we want to run through in order to do things for example like collect the hardware inventory, software inventory. If we do modify the client policy on the config manager site, we can do a machine policy retrieval and evaluation cycle. So all of these actions allow us to bypass waiting the automated amount of time in order to retrieve these various policies. Site tab allows me to configure my site. So let's say I'm a roaming user, I might need to modify my site location depending on which location I'm in. If I go to configure settings, what you can see here is we can then specify these settings in place. The cache tab is used for things like application caching. So what we can do at this point here is we can specify exactly where we're going to cache the files and also as well delete any files sitting in the cache. The configurations tab would show us any baseline configurations that are attached to this client. So currently none. And in the case of the network tab, what we can do if we click on configure settings, we can do things like specify the internet base management point and any proxy settings that we require. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of looking at the configuration manager properties. Thank you.